December was trending to be one of the least snowiest on records, uh, but today we managed to pick up a couple inches of snow across the state line. Now all of those hazards are now gone. You can see the radar drying up across the board. Uh, so overall picking up anywhere between about two inches to three inches of snowfall across the state line. A lot of this did melt uh, throughout the course of the afternoon and evening, uh, so we're not seeing as slushy of roads as we did earlier on today. Visibility, though, may be a concern throughout the rest of the night. You can see visibility at or under a mile for most locations across the state line, so that makes it pretty hard to see if you're driving late tonight or especially tomorrow morning. It's because of the uh, melting snowfall, temperatures slightly above freezing. All that moisture being given off by that melting snow results in some dense fog, so watch out for those pockets of very thick fog through tonight again and tomorrow morning. Uh, just make sure you take it slow because it will be harder to see really anything down the road or especially any ice that may form as temperatures are expected to drop back below freezing. Now, right now, uh, they are staying at or above freezing, but so it'll definitely help keep at least the ice off of the roads for the time being. But later tonight, we could drop down slightly below freezing, so watch out for some icy patches in the morning as the conditions remain foggy. Now, the fog clears out by the time we get to about the middle of tomorrow morning, and then the rest of the morning looking a little on the chilly end as temperatures slowly drop off throughout the course of the day, so some extra cold air moves in behind today's snowfall resulting in a high of only about 30 degrees and a lot of that occurring during the morning. We have more snowfall on the way as we go into tomorrow evening, uh, so keep an eye out for more showers, but they won't be as widespread as what we saw as of today and likely won't pile up as much as like we saw today. There's a couple more chances coming this week tomorrow inch or less, so not as many impacts there. And then we're keeping a close eye on the New Year's holiday, accumulating snowfall a possibility. This storm is still several days out. The timing, the intensity, the amounts that all can still change a ton, but uh, they're keeping an eye on that trend for the weekend itself. Uh, so looking to future track, you can see that we've got a little light snow scattered across the state line after about five o'clock tomorrow. It'll continue on and off through about nine. As you can see, not getting as many places hit with this band of snow, but still could get up to an inch and cause some slick spots. So make sure you travel with uh, care going into tomorrow night. And then for the weekend, sometime between New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, there could be accumulating snowfall and more possible than what we saw as of today, followed by some Arctic cold coming in for Sunday. So keep a close eye on the forecast throughout the week, if, especially if you have holiday plans. We'll keep you up to speed as things become clearer and clearer as we get closer towards that event. In the forecast, temperatures stay nearer, a little above freezing through the rest of the week. Then the weekend has much colder conditions, down to 15 in our forecast for a high on Sunday. After that, we rebound back closer to average into the first full week of 2022. Here's your most accurate 10-day forecast, which does feature that slight warming trend, getting us back at least above freezing for a day or two before dropping again late next week. In the meantime, gets wild weather out there, but that's still not throwing us off target just yet forecasts remaining on target, which means we cross the $200 cash total and we we'll hope to keep that going, Derek. Yeah, keep adding to that total. Get us a big jackpot there. Now remember